British troops in the Suez Canal zone greet the new year with watchful eyes, as following constant terrorist attacks, civilians are interrogated and searched for hidden arms. Even rush hour traffic is stopped at roadblocks and the passengers closely questioned. Keeping up their security patrols in wireless cars, RAF police receive instructions from headquarters as one more lorry is searched. Meanwhile, at a key air station, training and routine flights continue as pilots fly their vampires over the canal, busy with the world's shipping. But the canal zone garrison didn't allow the recent troubles to spoil the kiddies' party season, and Santa Claus was a very welcome visitor. Another joyful sight was the arrival of seasonable fare, one that made cookhouse fatigue a real pleasure. The GOC, Lieutenant General Erskine, joined his staff in the festive spirit, caring little that an Egyptian newspaper had offered a thousand pounds for his death. His small daughter enjoyed the loving cup too. Later, Sir George visited the Garrison Hospital, where he joined in celebrations with nursing and medical staffs. And it seems even sergeants become human at this season. At Christmas dinner every year, the privates can say, we've got our sergeant waiting on us now, as an old army custom is revived. Service families too were united and joined in the army's own party. But as 1952 dawns over Suez, Britain is on guard, determined to stay in the canal zone as her contribution to the defense of the free world.